Moving on to another premiere, the premiere of the new documentary film Statues Also Breathe brings back to the fore conversation around the kidnapping of over 200 schoolgirls from the Chiba community in northeast Nigeria in 2014 and how some of them are yet to be rescued. The documentary follows the process of creating the famous 108 terracotta heads in Ife in Oshun State to symbolize the identity of the yet to be rescued girls and to draw attention to the challenges facing the education of the girl child globally. The project, produced by Adi Bantu, the band head of the Nigeria German band Bantu, is executed in collaboration with the Department of Fine and Applied Arts of the Obafemi Awolowo University in Ileife and is the brainchild of French artist Bruno Ray. Take a look. Miss Head. This head is now going to the history of the nation itself. I think it was at that point in time, people were kind of forgetting and we wanted them to be remembered. And I think with, when you consider this element of sculpture and immortalizing, you know, immortalization, I think it's very, very crucial. And the way Prune was able to connect Ife Terracotta with this ongoing conversation that is much needed. I think it worked very well with the project. So from the onset, it was clear that we had to involve the community and seek their consent as well. So that is exactly what I did. Through various contacts, I reached out to the communities. Uh, it's not one community because they are communities. And in consultation and with their consent, we went about the project. With marauders, we're dealing with bandits who just come and capture people. We cannot just forget. These are the moms of the women, our sisters, who were taken, who were kidnapped when armed men stormed the school. It's been eight years, and their babies are still gone. You know, the uh, concept of the head in Yoruba culture, even in Africa generally, uh, is that the head is the seat you know, of, the, of the body, is the seat of the intellect, memory, imagination, and the likes. And so it is accorded in you know, such importance. So when Pro mentioned the fact that uh, she wanted to explore if ahead to represent Awusa Kanori, you know, Chibo people, it was like, uh, is that possible? Then she explained. So I believe that, uh, you know, whatever the Chibo community or the uh, Northeastern Nigeria and the likes are facing, you know, every other part of the country is also facing similar thing. And so, you know, if uh, being Yoruba culture, it represents the classical, you know, uh, sculpture of the Yoruba people, in which the head is emphasized, given importance. So we are trying to, you know, uh, melt culture together this time around. So whatever happens to it also affects B. So we use the popular artistic, you know, culture of the Yoruba people to express that culture that is seemingly unknown to majority, you know, of the people. And that is why we come up with the title with the topic, status also breed. Even in their stateless you know, position, they are still breeding, they are still crying for help, and we are still thinking about them. This head is now going to the history of the nation itself. We are at a point in history where we are dealing with marauders, we are dealing with bandits who just come and capture people. We cannot just forget.